Hi everybody, I'm back again with another video. Uh, this is going to be a bit different. Um, I've decided that I'm not going to be doing um, review videos on single figures. Unless it's a figure that is absolutely unbelievable, then I will probably do a video on that on its own. But I've decided to stop doing individual reviews. This is mainly because there's so many people out there now on YouTube that are doing them and they do them a hell of a lot better than me. Um, I get things wrong on my videos. I've been picked up for it. That's not why I'm stopping. Um, it's good that people pick me up on those things because it helps me learn. But you've got people like um, Denobi2, Reviewer King, um, Sean Long, Xenomorph, to name but a few, who do really good videos on reviews on figures and I think that people in the community that want to see videos of single figures will mainly go to those sort of guys so I'm going to leave that up to those guys to do that and what I'm going to mainly concentrate on is doing um, groups of figures together like you can see on the camera now um, another reason for this is I think a lot of people in general the, the videos that get higher views are collection videos like collections of Iron Man or Predator or the complete collection that people have got they seem to get more views um, that's the way that I found it on my channel so I thought this is what the people want more so that is why I'm sticking to doing it like this now so that's enough of me waffling on about that um, if you've got any views on that feel free to sort of comment below obviously if um, I get requests from a lot of people to say can you do a video on this figure or that figure then I might consider doing that but anyway enough of that what have we got here well these aren't hot toys these are uh, Gangster's Kingdom figures made by Damn Toys uh, they're not to everybody's liking as you can see from the head sculpts they do look like actors uh, but they're caricatures of those actors obviously they haven't got the license to do um, sculpts of the actors so this is their way around it and I think they really are superb looking figures um, as I said not to everyone's liking there are more that have been released I think there's about another three or two, three or four that have been released or going to be released um, but these are the ones that I've got I have got another one on order which is a female one I'll talk about that a little bit later so we'll start over here this is the Four of Spades, which is based on Colin Farrell. I will, a bit later on in the video, uh, as you can see the turntable there, I'll put them up on the turntable so you can have a look around the figures individually. Next to him, we have the Two of Diamonds, which I believe is based on Scott Atkins. Next to him, we have the Jack of Spades, which is Jason Statham. There was... Um, another version of the well, a couple of versions of this released this is the special edition version uh, the original version uh, which is harder to get had a brown jacket um, a cloth hat and a few other little differences uh, but this one's far superior and they have released um, another version of this well Jason Statham anyway uh, with a black leather coat and all that sort of thing with a completely different look next to him we have the two of spades which is Vinnie Jones this was the hardest one to find. Um, I didn't buy these when they first came out, uh, but this one I managed to get off eBay for a fairly good price. But they're very, very difficult to come by now, and they are quite pricey. I've seen them going up to £300, which is ridiculous. I didn't pay that. I didn't even pay half that, but I managed to get him, luckily. Next to him, this is the newest one in my collection. This is the Three of Diamonds, which is Danny Trejo. He's the only one so far with rooted hair. All the others are sculpted. And finally, on the end here, the Three of Spades, which is Wayne Rooney. Now, if you notice, there is a bit of a theme going here. Other than Danny Trejo, they're all based on British actors. Um, I think they've got their inspiration from the Lock, Tock and, Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels type movies gangster movies that they made over here in the UK and the Fight Club sort of scene um, the other figure that I've got on order is as I said is a female one and I think that's based 
looking at the pictures, it looks like it's based on Kira Knightley. Um, but I won't really know until it's actually in hand, so I can have a look at it. So I'll give you um, a quick look over the head sculpts. Uh, I'm using a newer camera now. This is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. And it's far superior to the one that I've used before. So feel free to comment. Tell me if you think it is better. So there's Colin Farrell. Scott Atkins. If you don't know who he is, he's a, a martial arts actor. He's very, very good at martial arts. Been in a lot of films uh, with Van Damme and uh, Expendables and that sort of thing. There's Jason Statham. Vinnie Jones. I think this is probably my favourite out of all of them. Danny Trejo and finally Wayne Rooney. So what I'll do now is I'll put a pause in and I'll bring them up individually and we can have a, just a little sort of a little look around the figures. I'll say I'm not going to go into it in too much detail because um, I want to cut my videos down in size as well. So bear with me. Okay here we have Colin Farrell aka the four of spades the tailoring on these on these figures is absolutely phenomenal it's definitely hot toy standard if not a little bit better um, the way they've got them to fit on the body is superb um, i will point out that the stands you don't get with the figures these are just stands that i'm using to show them off so they're, they're hot toy stands it comes with um, quite a few accessories i think they all come with a spare hand uh, you see the they've all got um, tattoos somewhere on their body as well. A lot of them have got them actually on their torso, so you need to sort of take the clothing off to see that. Um, but it is like a, a real sort of leather type look or feel to it, uh, but it's not. I think they call it pleather. Um, this is knife in a sheath that you have to put on the belt, which isn't too hard to put on. Um, they've all come with necklaces. You can just about pick his out there. So there is a sort of a theme running through these figures. Most of them come with shades that you can interchange with the other figures if you wish. So there's a look at his face without the shades on. Well, I just think they look better with the shades. Paint apps are very, very good as well. It's a little bit darker than what you're seeing on camera here. Again, his weathered bag. And he's got an AK forty, well, Kalashnikov or AK forty-seven on his back. Oh, let's just bring him forward a bit so he doesn't fall over. Uh, very nice detailing on these as well. Again, up to Hot Toy standards. Paint apps on it are superb. You cannot really fault these figures. I mean, articulation-wise as well. They are very, very good. You can see the tailoring on the clothing. It just it looks like it's real jeans on a real model's body. I mean, they just fit beautifully. Um, great sort of shoes as well, designer shoes. All in all, an absolutely top-class figure. So I'll put a pause in here. Oh, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, here we have Scott Atkins, aka Two of Diamonds. There's only been um, two gangs released so far. There's the Spades and the Diamonds. Um, there's more Spades than there are Diamonds at the moment, but I'm sure they will bring out the other two suits as well. Uh, fantastic design on his T-shirt underneath. I mean, the quality is... I can't emphasise it enough. It really is good. Um, if you want to get to see some really good videos on these, uh, check out the Reviewer King's channel. Um, he's done some excellent, excellent videos on these. He really loves these sort of guys as well. And you can hear that in the passion in his video when he reviews them. Again, have a look at the without his shades on. Um, I'm sure this is Scott Adkins. I mean, if, if it isn't, um, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But I think the Reviewer King also said it was Scott Adkins. Uh, knuckle duster again great looking shotgun there's a tattoo on his hands nice weathered boots great tailored trousers yet again moving on round to the back again another leather type look to his jacket 
Um, again, he does have other accessories, which is mainly just hands. Some of them, um, the Colin Farrell one, has a scarf that you can actually put over his face with a skull and skull on it. Um, but I like to see the faces. Ooh, just trying to make sure they don't fall over. Underneath, he has a chain that you have to put on the belt. It is real metal as well, which is always a great touch to once it scale figures. Uh, more and more companies are doing this now. But as you can see, he also has his necklace, which runs throughout all the figures. Sorry, this is only a brief sort of look at the figures. So I'll pause it here, and when we come back, we'll have another one up for viewing. Okay, here we have Jason Statham. This is the Jack of Spades. As I said, there were there's two other releases of this figure. Um, the other, the original release, had a cloth cap which tended to um, stain the head sculpt underneath. But this one is a plastic cap, perfectly moulded fits on perfectly and he had a brown jacket instead of this grey sort of blacky grey sort of jacket and I don't think he had um, a scarf either correct me if I'm wrong but again fantastically tailored really great looking jeans great looking like um, crocodile type boots Again, he comes with different hand sculpts. This is one of the hand sculpts that a lot of the other figures have, which is uh, him giving the bird. Nice little handgun. I can just pull his jacket to one side. He also has a chain that goes round. Um, he comes with um, a bag which sticks out a bit, but there is a trick to this. Uh, this is courtesy of the reviewer king if you put some 2p pieces or some heavy coins in the bag it will drop down and it will sit down like that so I will have to do that at some point um, I've put a couple of his accessories in the bag he's got a flick pen knife and there's some clips for his gun but all the zips do work he's got a motif on the back of his jacket really nice great sort of weathered look to the jacket he's got a hoodie underneath um, all this comes on the figure, you don't have to put the hoodies or anything like that on. It's already on there. Nice stitching on the side there. Uh, working zips on the jacket as well. But yeah, um, fantastic looking figure. Look at the face sculpt. You can see that is Jason Statham. A really nice looking character. This, I say, this is the special edition version. Um, they are going up in price now. So if you want them, get in there quick before they really do rise astronomically. But yeah, that's the uh, Jack of Spades. And now we will move on to the Two of Spades. Okay, here we have Vinnie Jones, aka the Two of Spades. Um, I might have to go online and try and find another one of these. Uh, because mine seems to have got a little bit of stainage on it. Uh, from the guy that I bought it off um, but other than that it's in perfect condition again he's got the cross chain leather type feel to his jacket sports jacket again really superb tailoring love it great sort of sneakers comes with this nice looking shotgun not a lot of detail on it but you don't really get that on shotguns anyway Moving him on round to the back. Great motif on the back of his jacket. It feels like it's stitched on, but I think it is actually glued on. Um, so it could come loose. So I'm just trying to... The turntable's on the bed and it's a little bit wonky, the bed, so... The figures are tending to rock a bit, so I'm having to pull him forward. Again, a motif on his jacket there at the top corner. Baseball bat 
with a bit of blood on it. It's not metal, it is plastic. It would have been nice if it was metal. Um, we'll just give you a look at his head sculpt. Without his shades on, it's quite tight on the face, so which is good because then it won't fall off. Nice Vinnie Jones look. The shades are really good as well. I mean, they've used different sort of painted glass, but it's actually plastic, but they've given you different colours, which are really nice. So I say, if you don't like the green on this one, you can swap it out for the purple on the Colin Farrell or the orange on the Scott Adkins, whatever you prefer. But yeah, this is, as I said, was the hardest one to find. Um, very expensive now, these ones, as I mentioned earlier. But this is definitely my favourite looking one out of all of them. They're very simple, don't have a huge amount with them, other than the spare hand and the odd bit of uh, weaponry, but it, it works. And obviously you can add to them if you wish, but I just love them the way they are. So we'll now move on to the Three of Diamonds. Okay, here we have Danny Trejo, Three of Diamonds. A lot more with this guy. This is one of the newer ones. Just give you a look at that head sculpt. Really nice, menacing sort of look. And say so this one does have the rooted hair, uh, which you can style, put styling gel in it. Comes with a little bit of gel in it already, like a lot of the Hot Toys ones do. Uh, so you can style it how you wish. Uh, but on this top here, um, this is all assembled for you, but you have to put the blades in. So it's obviously, this one's based on machete. Great looking buckle. Again, leather sort of feel to the clothing. Fantastic tailor in the coat is superb. Again, he's got the tattoos on his hand. Um, the knives are plastic, which is a bit of a shame, um, but obviously it's done like that to keep costs down. Uh, underneath, um, either side, he's got two little belts with kukris in, which is um, Gurkha knives, to give it its more common name. Again, great looking trousers, great looking boots. Yes, it's a bit dusty, I will dust that. Um, we've got great design on the boots, flames. As I said, articulation on these figures, very, very good. The bodies underneath are superb. Um, they rival the true type bodies by Hot Toys, so you can move them about into virtually any sort of pose you wish. Um, you might be restricted a little bit with the ones with the more thicker leathery type jackets on, like the Colin Farrell one there. Um, that one's a little bit harder to sort of pull the arms right up. There's the rooted hair. As I say, it does have a, a gel in it. But yeah, fantastic looking figure. Again, um, they're getting better and better with these. Um, now that a lot of people are, are buying these figures, they have been a bit cheeky and they've put their prices up. Uh, they were quite cheap. I think um, they were going for less than 100 British pounds to start with, but now you know, they're creeping up to um, 110, 120, something like that. Um, you can get them for. So due to popularity, the prices have risen. Uh, nice little motifs on his jacket, you can just about see it underneath, flames. But yeah, fan, again, another top quality figure. If you can't afford Hot Toys figures, these are a good way to go. Check out the company, Damn Toys. Um, they do other figures as well, a lot of military ones. So I'll put a pause in here and we'll do the last figure in this set. Okay, and here we have Wayne Rooney, Three of Spades. Um, if you don't know who Wayne Rooney is, uh, some people out there probably don't. He's a football player for Manchester United. Uh, over here in the UK, we call him Shrek, because that's what he bloody looks like. Again, uh, Superb tailoring on this, yet again. This one does come with a, a second head sculpt, and it's fully masked, um, but I prefer him obviously showing the faces off. But yep, great likeness to Wayne Rooney. I love the way they've done these caricatures of these people. Really looking forward to seeing what they do with future releases. Again, he's got the necklace. He's got a cloth-type top underneath. 
He's got his bum bag in here. You can put his uh, pistol. And he's got two pouches either side where you can put his gun clips as well. Great sort of tailored trousers. Looks like he's got paint splatter on them, so he's been using these when he's been decorating. Great boots, nice design. Um, these are um, a material lace as well. They're not actually um, sculpted lace. This is material. It's got some wristbands that you have to put on. Just take the hand off and slip it straight over. Again, he's got the England tattoo on his hand to show that he's English. Uh, a hoodie that you have to put on, again with a superb design on the back. Put that up so you can read it. Also on this figure, he comes with um, an axe. You can just see the handle there. Let's get the focus. There we go. I've noticed with this new camera that focusing is a lot better, a lot quicker. Um, there's the axe actually in a sheath there and he comes with this really superb looking shotgun as well you have to put the shells in the stock there but yeah again hot toy standard type fair and there's his handgun really nice design on his handgun as well great paint details all round top notch figure. This is my latest one. I did, um, if you've noticed back on videos that I've done in the past, I had done a video with this guy, uh, but I sold him. And because I was using him to make my own custom gang, um, but somebody offered me money for him, so I sold him. And I've gone out and bought another one now. Cost me more than when I originally bought one. But uh, yeah, there you go. Another fantastic figure. So I'll put a pause in here, take one more look at all the figures, and then I'll tell you what is coming up on my channel a bit later. Okay, here we are, all six together, looking pretty good. Um, as I say, I've got another one on order, which is the female one. Hopefully they'll do a few more of those. So as soon as she comes through, I will do a video on her with these guys. And yeah, so tell me what you think. Are these figures that you would you would consider picking up or not? Um, what do you think that I'm not going to? What do you? Blah, 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 blah. What do you think about me not doing any more um, review figures videos? Um, do you think that's good for me? Do you prefer seeing videos with groups of figures together, or do you prefer? just the sort of half an hour um, review videos that's another reason why I've decided to stop I think half an hour on one video people lose interest if it's just one figure in the video whereas if you've got half an hour which this one hopefully won't be of six or seven figures it just gives you more content gives you an idea as well of what the figures look like together um, so you can judge whether you want to start going for that line of figures or not. Admittedly, I think a lot of people might just pick up one or two of these, especially if it's an actor they like, like Vinnie Jones or Jason Statham. They might just pick up the odd one or two. But I, th I think you agree, if you see them all together like this, they are impressive. Very impressive. So what's coming next? Um, I've got a load more figures come through. Um... Just trying to think. I've got a Stormtrooper. I'll give you a quick sort of preview. You can just see him there in the cabinet. So I've got a Hot Toys Stormtrooper. Um, you might not be able to pick him out yet, but just over here, right next to Blade there, you can see I've got the new Wolverine. So there will be videos of those coming. I've got Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. So I will do, do a video on her with a few other figures next to her as well. Um, I've still got my Ed 209 to do, and I'm just trying to think what else. I've got the um, a new Iron Man as well. It's the diorama of the the Mark III being made. 
uh, with all light up features so I will do a video on that possibly with um, a few other figures with it again um, so you can have a look at that but that's just a few f uh, videos that are coming up um, over the next sort of four or five weeks so stay tuned for those um, the Ed 209 video I might do that as just the Ed 209 on its own because that is a figure that is absolutely superb um, I've got loads more on order I think I've got about 25 figures on order at the moment which is ridiculous um, my credit card's taking one hell of a battering uh, but I have sold um, my DX6 Jack Sparrow I sold him I've got Angelica up for sale uh, my Chitari twin box set um, I'm selling that as well and possibly my John Connor I will be selling him at some point as well to make a little bit more room for a couple of figures so that's enough of me waffling on um, you don't want to hear me doing that I'll give you another quick look at the head sculpts and that will be it for this video tell me what you think of the camera so again if you missed it before this is the new Samsung S6 Edge fantastic camera or phone highly recommend it better than those bloody Apple pieces of shit anyway that's enough for me waffling on until the next video, thanks very much and take care.